Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a relatively new app called Cloud App. So I think this was released on April 1st. I'm not really sure. I was reading the blog and stuff. So even though I've only used this application for about three or four hours, it's already become one of my favorite apps on my Mac. So what Cloud App is, is essentially a server which you can upload files and on their server they will process it and allow you to copy and paste a link which your friends can download and stuff. So here is their main website, getcloudapp.com, and you can sign up right now. It's free, and you do need an email address because you get your own profile with all the files you upload and stuff. So let's go over a basic overview. So on Cloud App, you can upload all sorts of files, music, images, links, videos. You basically upload almost everything, okay? So it's drag and drop, you can drag the file up to the cloud or you can assign a hotkey. I'll go over this as I go over the app in a few minutes. So there's, they're soon going to make an iPhone app for cloud app which allows you to upload photos on the go. And the files that you upload, it's stored on their server which is really special. They have three exact copies so if one server goes down, there's still two more copies of your file. And there's also some extensions called Raindrop which allow you to upload it gives you like plugins in certain applications like iTunes, iPhotos. So let's go over the app itself. So here's the icon of the app. It's just a blue cloud. It's very simple. Once you click it, it launches the application in the menu bar designated by this black cloud. So if you open this, you can click this. You can delete files and stuff. See? And let's go into preferences. Okay, so in general, the hotkey is something which you can assign. I chose F5. So whenever I press F5 and I selected a file, it automatically gets uploaded to the cloud. And here you can have ground notifications, I turn that off. Or you can play a sound when it's done uploading. Copy link to clipboard, which means after it's done uploading, it'll automatically copy the link to the clipboard, which means you can just press Command V and the link should be there. And also check start at login. I'm not going to go into the accounts tab. So raindrop, raindrops are a plugin. So like in iTunes, the song I currently selected, if I press F5, it gets uploaded. It's that simple. In iPhotos, photos, and so forth. Updates, it's a relatively new app, so they're gonna be updated soon. Support, you can check here for if you have any bugs, anything. This is like I said, it's a fairly new app. There should be a few glitches that they can fix. So let me demo some stuff, okay? First part is I'm gonna do the screenshot. For, so for a screenshot, you can either press Command Shift 3 to take a screenshot of your entire screen. And as you can see, there's a cloud and it was originally empty, but then it filled up, indicating that you have uploaded it. So once you do that, you just hold down Command V and you press Enter. And the screenshot should appear, see? It's that simple. The second screenshot method is Shift Command 4, which allows you to select the area of where you want the screenshot. It doesn't end by this gray box. See? And the cloud is filling up, and it's done. Command V. And it should be there. So that's very simple. Next, I'm going to demo the iTunes function. So, say you want to send your friend a song legally, and you just Whichever song you've selected, press the hotkey or you can drag it up to the cloud, but I'm going to press the hotkey right now, F5. And as you can see, the cloud is now empty and slowly filling up, indicating the progress. So give it a few seconds. And Command V. And all you have to do is click download for your friend and he will download the file really fast. You also do this for video files and Word documents. So I'm going to show you a Word document that I'm going to upload, my nuclear physics research paper. So I'm just going to drag it into the cloud, and it will be uploaded. And again, Command V. And here's the paper. You can read this paper if you want. I'll leave it in the links. So yeah, OK, there's one major concern about this application that should be fixed soon. OK, so as you can see, this is the URL cl.ly slash the last three there's three random letters or numbers and this designates the like it's unique for each file so the problem is there's only three okay so that means I could type in like AAD and maybe I might see someone else's file so they I read on their blog that they are implementing a private upload so people have to enter a password before being able to view the file or a document 
So I would rather have it like that instead of just this, like anyone can view it. Like I'm gonna try to guess someone's password or someone's screenshot. Look, A A D, and I'm looking at someone's screenshot. So it's kind of creepy. So overall, this is a really good app, and I recommend that you test it out and try it. So yeah, you can sign up at getcloudapp.com. It's totally free. You just need to create a login. So thanks for watching.